At just age 21, Little Nuisance has been in constant legal battles. And as of the time of recording this, the 9th of September 2022, he is currently being detained in prison awaiting his sentence. Little Nuisance, aka Adam Lockwood, is despised by the UK authorities. Now, a 21 year old man has been arrested on suspicion of trespass after he was seen climbing the Shard building in central London. If someone tells me not to do something, I will just, I'll just do it. And I'll do it on purpose because they told me not to. To do it. My solicitor that's doing this case has asked me to see a, a psychiatrist because he thinks I've got oppositional defiance disorder. Let me just get in here. Warning, all the stunts in this video are highly dangerous and highly illegal. This video is made for documentary purposes. I do not condone or glorify these actions. Do not try them yourself. Yeah, how you doing, man? Considering. I'm all right, I'm a bit stressed. <laughs> I'd say I grew up pretty normal, but I was like really high ADHD and I just couldn't behave myself in school. It pretty much went from me being a normal kid and then me being ADHD to fuck and then me being depressed. Adam started to find it very hard to sit still in school and very quickly he became a problem kid who would get angry at the authorities around him. He resented being constantly told what he could and couldn't do by his family and by his teachers. When I was like 15, I left, I left school when I was 15 and I stayed in my room 24 hours a day and played Xbox. And one day I just decided to go out and do stuff. He woke up one morning in 2015 and instead of going to play video games, he went out the front door and walked towards Ryland's mill. So this chimney's completely abandoned and the, the building that it's on, it was like a hotspot for like kids in school and just anyone just to go around and I heard about it. So I thought, why not? As he climbed a 198 foot ladder in complete darkness, he emerged at the top with a full view of Manchester. I think that's the most me memorable thing I've ever done, just because it was the first thing. And for the first thing I ever did, it was quite a big thing at the time. And looking back, it's like the feeling I got back then is just, I don't know. It was that, it was that good feeling. And then everything else was just sort of, I just got used to it really quick. June 7th, 2018. Adam posts his first video to YouTube of him climbing the chimney that he'd climbed before. He followed that up with a crane climb, and then he would start to climb up roller coasters with a video titled Climbing Abandoned Roller Coaster Nightmare, caught by security. Yeah, this is no good. Why are you, are you going on? Give me. Know, Give me, please. Yeah. You see, what Adam is doing is considered trespassing on private property. In the UK, that is a civil offence and not a criminal offence. Meaning that Adam hasn't broken the law until the property owner decides to sue him. But Adam kept pushing the line, doing more roller coasters, more crane climbing, and baiting security guards. Climbing cranes in the middle of the day, getting, you know, a police call on me. <laughs> <laughs> I surfed the bus with my mate in the middle of like the busiest bus station in Manchester and got like chased by a gang and shit. Stuff like that, it's just it's just dumb. But obviously at the time it was it was quite fun. Oh my God. Yeah. From June 7th, 2018 to June 13th, 2019, Adam had posted 31 videos to YouTube, building the start of an audience for himself with some of his videos hitting 20 to 30,000 views. But each video was becoming more and more provocative, dangerous and illegal. But something was happening behind the scenes. Before we continue with this video, I have a very important message for all the boys out there. And that is, be honest with yourself, are you happy with your boxer situation? Today's sponsor, Sheaf Underwear, is a complete game changer, and I'm going to tell you why. These suckers right here, I kid you not, there's literally a compartment that you can put your fellas in. And so when you're going about your day, or maybe when you're doing sport, you don't get any chafing, itching. The boys can just hang free, stay fresh, and be happy. Honestly, when I switched to Sheaf, I started realising how ridiculous normal boxers were. They're either too tight, which is uncomfortable for you, or maybe too loose, which can be uncomfortable for other people. But Sheaf Underwear just gets it completely right. So do yourself a favor and check out the link below and use the code Jimmy the Giant. Or go to sheafunderwear.com forward slash Jimmy the Giant for 20% off and a luxury experience for your balls. Anyway, back to the video. The first letter I got was from Manchester Council and they basically said, we've seen what you're doing in Manchester, can you please stop? And obviously I was this reckless kid at the time and I set fire to the letter and posted it on my story and tagged them like basically you. So they sent me another letter saying, please can you stop or we'll make this go further, did the same thing. And then they said, if you don't stop, we'll take you to court. And then when I was in court and I got a three year civil injunction, which basically means 
if I climb anything without permission, if I trespass on any land, if I jump on the back of any buses or anything or do anything like that, I'll, I'm, I could go to prison. After posting weekly videos for the first year, Adam had just gone completely quiet. During this time, the BBC published an article all about Adam. And it states, on the 5th of July, Adam had left an abusive message on a council answering machine. Deputy District Judge Lindsay Clark condemned Lockwood's deliberate knowing and willful breach of this order. What Adam was doing online had now started to affect his real life. And so he went quiet, seemingly dealing with something or other, probably the stress of the situation. Fuck. Am I gonna figure this out here? I didn't think this through at all. <laughs> Did not think this through. But then on the 26th of March, 2020, Little Nuisance makes his return to YouTube. Adam was completely free to do whatever he wanted for now. I went, I went probably five countries before COVID and when sort of started toning down a bit and people could start traveling again with documents. I went to 11 countries in six months. And there was a noticeable change in Adam's content style. Instead of just editing his climbs to music, he was now actually talking to the camera and we we're starting to get a feel for him as a person. A high energy, enthusiastic lad who loves adventures and struggles to fit in the normal boxes of society. And so Adam becomes homeless, just traveling around the world like a vagabond. But there was another noticeable change in Adam and that was his climbing skill. I train climbing stuff every day and I'm in the climbing gym three, day, three to four days a week, four hour session. Now you see on YouTube pre-2019, the crane climbing and urbexing community weren't like skilled climbers. They just mainly walked up ladders or staircases, occasionally doing climbs across crane arms, which was dangerous, but pretty simple to do in terms of climbing skill. But that would all change on the 8th of July, 2019. My name's George King and I'm an extreme athlete. I've climbed the Shard. That was probably the most notable one. Urban climbing had entered a new era. An era of rock climbing training applied to urban climbs. This style of actual urban climbing followed on from one iconic climber, Alain Robert, AKA the French Spider-Man. Alain was a renowned climber, but by 1997, he decided to take his skills to skyscrapers. And he would do these unbelievable climbs, sometimes with permission from the building owners, but other times without permission. His feats led him to spend five days in a Chinese jail and two months in a Malaysian jail. In 2012, Elaine was spotted near the Shard and he too was given an injunction against climbing in the UK. He then received another injunction in 2018 for climbing the Heron Tower in London and he was now faced with five years in jail if he ever returned to the UK and climbed a building. It seemed like for whatever reason, you know, for all the climbs that Elaine did all around the world, these incredible buildings, British authorities just took it more serious. And so as George King finished climbing the shard, he was forced to spend six months in jail. Hey! <laughs> Prison was always on the table when I, the moment I committed to climbing the building, I just saw it as a success fee to achieving my dream. Yeah, I, I was good friends with George like before he even did the shard. We did a, yeah. did a lot of trains in Manchester and did a few other bits. I've spoken to him about like, obviously how jail was, but not not recently and i haven't i've also not asked him like anything about the shard because i want it to sort of be my experience without basically taking a blueprint off him and not having it be my thing do you know what i'm saying and like for most people the news of this would dissuade them from even looking at climbing the shard for little nuisance this was the thing that made him want to do it the shard had become his dream climb and so adam started training and training he took his climbing seriously on september 8th 2020 adam would do his first ever free solo on the world's tour this climbing wall called Excalibur. On the 14th of October 2020, he posted a video of him free soloing his first ever building, which was 144 meters. Two days later, he posted a video of him free soloing Hotel Arts, which was 154 meters, both of which he did barefoot. So when I did the ones in Barcelona and the other ones I've done in Denmark, France and stuff like that, I quickly realized that the buildings that I want to climb that are climbable are so much more harder physically. Mm -hmm. So I just I just decided to dedicate my whole time to training because I, I when I was in Paris two years ago, there's a building called Total and I want to I really want to climb this building and I did two floors and I was fucked. So that, that's when I thought this isn't a joke and I wanted to take it seriously. 
your luggage ready. The UK has announced it will be taking 11 countries off its travel red list. As soon as restrictions started easing up, he headed straight back to England to go and climb. And like now he was legitimately homeless. Technically I'm homeless, like I live in a van. Bro, I've slept in the most random places you could possibly think of. In Barcelona Cathedral, I slept in the main spire, like at the top, there's like a ring and then you can look down and see like everything. And I slept in there in a sleeping bag when I was uh, doing the roof and that was horrible. <laughs> He had no money, and all of the money he did have was going towards his legal fees. Adam's life started to fall apart. His mental health became worse and worse due to the stress of this legal issue. But this didn't stop Adam. By now, he had become a very high-level rock climber. And the three-year climbing ban that he received those years back in 2019 was coming to an end in July of 2022. So with this injunction, I've breached it on record like 12 times, or something ridiculous. And each breach, I can get to 12 weeks in prison and I've breached it 12 times. The last time I was in court, the, my lawyer basically said, the first thing he said was, Manchester Council want you in prison and they're, they're applying for you to go to prison. I thought, great. He's given four days notice to appear in court on the 14th of July, 2022, where he's unable to get a lawyer. So the case was adjourned for four weeks. And obviously the British authorities were worried that in those four weeks, he was gonna do something crazy. And so they extended his ban for two years temporarily. So right now I have the Manchester Council case, which they're applying for my commitment to prison. Obviously I'm gonna have the Shard case when I do that because that's illegal and that's also a breach of my injunction. So I'm in court on the 13th of September. If the web is not good, I am going to miss court, which is not good, but I'm, it, it, I'm going to do it either way, so. <laughs> and so things weren't looking good for Little Nuisance. He had four weeks to await the fate of his future. But to him, that was four weeks to complete his dream climb. When I, when I climb this building, whatever comes next is just extra. What does climbing the shard mean to you then? Obviously with all the injunction stuff and them trying to basically stop me doing the only thing I've ever found that's made me feel anything. It's not only a statement to say, this is who I am, this is what I want to do. It's also a personal thing, because obviously it's the tallest building in, in the UK. Only one person's ever done it. And when I do it, I very much doubt anyone's ever going to do it again, because the consequences are either going to be too high or they're going to secure it too much, or now is my chance before I won't be able to ever do it. And it's also a chance for me to promote the causes that I want to promote, like mental health stuff, because obviously I'm, I'm struggling massively and I just want to help other people. That's up <laughs> I hope you don't get the last pats for the last few floors at the top. Now, a 21-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of trespass after he was seen climbing the Shard building in central London. Police officers were called to the skyscraper at around half past five this morning. Instantly on social media, news spread of him attempting this climb, with his friends on the ground watching him and filming him. After a long climb, eventually he emerges at the top with ripped hands and the biggest smile on his face. Adam had done it. He had achieved his dream climb. After this, he was instantly taken into police custody and escorted off without any contact with his friends. For the next few days, his friends and the entire Urbex community worried about Adam. Four days ago on Monday, I received word that Adam was being held at HMP Thameside, awaiting his court date to ultimately decide his fate. And so right now, it's not looking good for Adam. It's looking very likely he's gonna spend some time in jail. And for how long? Right now, we don't know. Some people could be passionate about painting or making, you know, like clay pots or something. And I'm passionate about climbing skyscrapers. It's, it's, it's a bit weird. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and watch this video right here.